welcome to everyone who graced their presence here. Time bends in reverence to the souls who inspire children and one such gem of a person is Sister Violet on behalf of the faculty and the students. I would like to extend my hearty welcome to our distinguished guest sister Violet who works as a guest lecturer at Leolo College, Chennai. It gives us immense pleasure for your presence here. We are really looking forward for your inspiring speech. I would like to invite our respectful principal, headmistress and our beloved teachers and I also welcome a school mentor who counsels students and my dear friends, I once again welcome one and all. So happy afternoon my dear children. Life needs uh, so many knowledge and uh, so many training. Life is not only uh, to study. In your school days, in your being a student, you should learn so many things in your life. And it is school that gives you very many opportunities to learn the various walks of life. We have today a very good a uh, very good persons in psychology. You have uh, Reverend Sister Violet. Her name is uh, Violet, Sister Violet Clementia. She is a very good resource person. She is uh, coming around uh, the various places of India. She is going for uh, psychological seminars. She is trying to recover the the persons uh, who are getting into drug addictions. She is giving uh, lots of advices to the priest who are getting trained as uh, fathers and uh, sisters. She is going to very many institutions and uh, some institutions are Holy Cross. She has been to Montfort and uh, right now she is also going as a guest lecturer to one of the prestigious institutions in Chennai, Layala College, which everybody could have come across. Yes or no? This is a period of transformation, 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th. Last but not the least, you also have our counsellor, what we call it as a mentor, Mr. Sujata, who has been with you whenever you are in trouble. Now, they will take the session and they will guide you how to handle your adolescent period. I told the title today morning, Self-Esteem in Adolescent Period. Today's title is Self-Esteem in Adolescent Period. How to maintain your self-esteem? Number Suya Maria Kavandu Pannudu. How do you maintain your self-esteem? This is a period where you have to maintain your self-esteem. You should not let it down. If you maintain that, I am telling you, all through the rest part of your life, you will not let your self-esteem down. When you let down your self-esteem, you become tired, your mind becomes tired, and you are not able to concentrate in your studies, you are not able to concentrate in your lively happiness. You say, you have sung a very good song, uh, God's love is so wonderful. God has given you this life to enjoy this life. To enjoy this life. As I told you, we started the school just within one week. Some two students have got TC. Some two students have got TC. I have asked the reason. How many days? Just one week. In one week, you say you have stress. If you do not know to manage your self-esteem during this adolescent period, I am telling you, even when you grow elder, older, when you go to your job, when you go to colleges, nobody will come and talk to you like this. You have to manage your life of your own. And uh, you will feel very difficult over there. That is what today we see lots of families with lots of problems. Very many families are with very many problems. Just to say one small example, the statistic says, out of 10 marriages, there are 6 divorces. Out of 10 marriages, there are 6 divorces. 
the reason is you are not able to maintain your self esteem you are not able to manage your life how to manage your life this is the right period where you should learn how to manage your life if you are able to manage your adolescent period in a very successful way i am sure you can maintain your life you can manage your life you can be successful personality in your life till your death till your death so relax to your seats put your ears open and uh, we have eminent speakers here i would uh, request you all to put your ears open you can be open minded you can discuss your problems whatever problems you will have sister and uh, our mentor will be able to address you and uh, try to live a happy life that's what we normally say happy morning happy afternoon happy evening not to just make our words happy to make our life happy so how to make our life happy that is the session today okay so you can laugh enjoy but don't talk see to that you listen to the speaker and get their advices to live a very happy life thank you children you all good afternoon are you tired you you want break okay god is good all the time so when i say god is good you should say all the time yeah god is good all the time very good you picked up so once again god is good all the time once again louder all the time god is good very good okay so the topic is actually i prepared uh, for you powerpoint presentation but uh, unfortunately uh, we could not show you that anyway i'll i'll make you be in touch with me yeah what what do you know about self esteem yes come on what is self esteem actually what is self esteem shall i come down i'll come i'll come maybe after some time because you need to see me properly right but if i come down you will not be able to see those people who are sitting at the back come on what is self esteem if we respect ourselves i also will respect others if i respect very good clap for him yeah enough only two otherwise you will take my time in clapping you will not hear me yeah okay so if i respect myself i will respect others as well if i don't respect myself i will not respect others yes or no okay so self esteem is something very very important we need to carry throughout our life until we die yes or no so for that there are lot of people contribute to our self esteem yes or no who are the people who contribute to our self esteem parents teachers friends yes ha huh? we are self very good fantastic ha huh? what else yeah you must give very big clap to your institution that itself gives you a very big self esteem that's what i was telling to you know sir benito ha huh? brito right yeah i was telling to sir brito see he is giving you all this institution itself see sitting you how do you feel definitely you'll feel sleepy because the cushion is very good i guess yeah definitely you'll feel sleepy because of the air condition and the cushion otherwise how do you feel do you feel self esteemed do you feel proud of sitting this kind of chair otherwise who will sit sit this kind of chair some cm yeah even we were put as ordinary chair but 
you have given a very good chase that means how much your institution is respecting you as a students so they are already giving you the self esteem do you all feel proud studying in amlor pavam yeah academic yeah that itself gives you a kind of self esteem yeah therefore you need to be very very grateful and gratitude to your institution which is being you no know, contributing to your self esteem yeah self esteem if you want you can take a note yeah in this session we will be seeing what is self esteem what is self esteem types of self esteem and why self esteem is important what is self esteem is refers to the way you see and think about yourself self esteem is the way you see and think about yourself how do you see and think about you anybody want to answer yeah do you get my point the way i see and think about myself if i see myself i am a competent person what is competent person means yeah competent person means what yes what is competent person the person who is able to say that i know things yes or no yeah competent i know yeah i know to carry out myself i know to carry out myself i know to look after myself every time you go to your mom and dad to select for you dress sometimes have you seen some people they will not be able to decide you will go to your mom and dad you will ask which dress i will wear are you asking or not yes or no so what is that actually still you are depending on others even after reaching the college after married sometimes you look for somebody to validate you do i look good or not yes or no so here when you are growing up you should know to self groom yourself you you should know those people are at the back am i seen yes okay fine you want me to be up or down down okay fine okay the next thing is self esteem is how much you worth yourself how worthy you feel am i sensing you something how much i worth myself anybody anybody when i say how much i worth myself am i worthy person yes how 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 are you a worthy person how can you say that you are a worthy person ma'am i select my own dresses i study good i score well Therefore, therefore i am a worthy person huh? i worth myself because i am doing my duty i am being a proper son to my parents i be a good daughter to my parents i also be a sincere student to my school so therefore i am a worthy person otherwise what do you think sometimes you feel i am not worthy i am not good for nothing why did i why if at all i if i am not born in this world i would it would have been nice you get that thought sometimes when you get a very low grade ha huh? some are shaking very strongly your heads yeah or when you don't feel yourself good like others yeah see my classmate is like trisha i am not like her like her so therefore i don't worth myself yeah okay the last one is how much you feel other person value you how much i feel the other person value you do my parents value me or only my younger sister or only my elder brother they don't value me do you get that yes or no sometimes you only give all that to the younger brother not to me you fight with your parents right you are not at all taking care of me only my younger brother every time you are being partial or when you come to school again you will say the teachers teacher is having a special high corner to this particular girl or particular boy ha huh? 
every time you expect that others should value every time you expect others should value me rather you don't value yourself yes or no yes that boy do you value yourself what's your name yeah ha huh? not you the one with the yellow box yeah do you value yourself yes ma'am sit sit so how much you think others value you do my parents value me do my friends value me ha huh? sometimes you call your friends for go for out or somewhere to hang out if the friend says that i am not coming today i am busy the whole day finish she doesn't like me that is why she is not coming with me she likes only the other person or he likes only that fellow therefore he is rejecting me already who will think like that the person one doesn't worth themselves yes or no ha huh? okay so these are the three things actually self esteem is what is all about yeah is it clear yes i am not getting any sound are you tired you want some coffee or tea i'll ask your principal to pro- provide you yeah okay okay fine so sometimes what do you do you don't value yourself properly you don't value yourself properly you may be so pretty you may be very good very handsome like a hero but what do you do you don't value that you don't value that when you go and stand in front of the mirror what do you think with all your beauty you don't value it yeah that's why actually i put a beautiful picture a cat actually went and saw the mirror looking itself as a lion some sometimes we also tend to be like that especially at this age at this age yeah are you bunk the class the next morning you will not go to the class even if you go to the class you will go and get yourself excuse to your teachers yeah so all these things will happen so therefore it affects your decision making as well you are not able to make a proper decision when your self esteem is not content when i say content what it is up to the level up to the level yeah okay it also will affect your friendships it also will affect your friendships yes or no especially this time you try you wanted to hang out with your friends a lot more than you are with your parents so far you are so small 8th standard 7th standard 6th standard too much attached to the parents everything anything you go and talk to your parents now that what do you do you don't bother your parents you don't only your poor parents they will be worried what happened to my daughter so far anything everything she comes and tells me now she is not even bothering me yeah what happened to my son what happened to my daughter what do you do you will wait for the next day when you will meet your friends and nowadays no the social media what your principal was telling yeah immediately call the huh? those days you need to wait you those days you need to wait to see your friend the next day today it is not like that you can immediately take a phone and call even whatsapp call video call yes so many possibilities are there yes or no so it also affects your friendships yeah and it also affect your success when you f- don't feel worth of yourself so far i am so good up to my 8th standard 9th standard i'm running very fast now that a lot of changes taken in me especially for girls especially for boys you started to have your periods puberty yeah again same like here you started to have your mustache yes every time somebody you know what very conscious about whether it is growing very long or it, today it is yes or no happening or not lot of pimples in the face how to get a smoothy face so all now lot of worries came in lot of worries 
came in so therefore it also if i don't have a proper self esteem if i don't have a proper self esteem my skin is not shiny as long as you were in the eighth standard sixth standard you never bothered about your skin but now that you want all the creams yeah because you want to make your skin shiny so that it attracts it is presentable yes something somebody said at the back i'm coming ha huh? ice cream <coughs> who is ice cream you ha eh? huh? i thought you <laughs> okay good 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 come on come on come on yeah so therefore there are lot of tension comes in this particular adolescent period so it also you when you don't have a proper self esteem it will affect your success as well yeah the last one is it will affect your academic performance and the life as a whole it also affects your academic performance so if i ask you no sister i was studying very well now when i reach 9th standard 10th standard my um a uh, grades are dropping how many would say honestly see so many so many ha huh? your teachers should witness that yeah put your put your <coughs> i am happy that you are very honest yeah i am happy that you are very honest yes okay so it is why because why your academics are dropping down because of all this tension because you are growing up this is the age you are growing up you are get your identity who am i what i want to become is there or not ha huh? you can just kind of dream in yourself i want to become a actress or actor yeah i want to become a engineer doctor ha huh? ias collector yes deep down i know i am not fit for nothing but my parents is already preparing for me to send me to medicine ha ah, yeah already they are sending me to neat coaching class so many things are there yes so you need to battle all these things yes or no so far are you okay are you with me yes yes, yes very good okay so what actually influences the self esteem particularly in this adolescent age are you adolescents yes what is adolescency adolescency uh, uh, the the years teenage okay what is the uh, years thirteen to nineteen so that is called adolescence age or teenage yes or no yeah what happens what actually influences our uh, self esteem at this age what is actually influencing our uh, self esteem at this age the first one is puberty I, as i said already if you are a girl child you will attain your age yes or no have you heard they all know have you heard attaining puberty attaining age they call in our society right what about boys do you also attain puberty do you also attain puberty yes or no louder self esteem you said the answer now self esteem why you are feeling shy yes ma'am yes. clap for him clap see you have lot of love here how come a boy can attain puberty he is very right boys also attain puberty only thing for girls we celebrate for girls we talk about poor thing boys are not spoken out 
ah eh? that is why this side is more laughing sound comes this side more of moaning yeah nobody is bothering us sister i started to have mustache i started to have beard my voice changed yes my body is getting bigger but nobody bothering but only they are bothering the girls yes or no boys also attain puberty when you start to have your mustache that is your puberty yes or no hello come on are you with me yes yes you should be you should not not, not i really proud of this boy when everybody is laughing when everybody is saying no or when you are neutral this particular boy had a courage to say yes that means your parents have brought you up well that means his parents has brought him up i did not ask you to clap anyway you clapped you should be aware you should be aware somewhere in our society when the woman is attaining the puberty she is been celebrated yes there are lot of function is brought up no function for boys therefore you are ignorant therefore you are ignorant battling with your own problem yes or no sir yeah yeah so you people should know because listen so when you take time when you take time for your smiling laughing then you are actually minimizing my time you will get less from me then the input you want the input or you want the yeah yeah come on extra time okay so so here there are a lot of changes uh, in the self esteem due to puberty because there are a lot of confusion comes here i am not like the other girl the other girl is growing up big or beauty i am not like her so what happens your self esteem get affected same way here among the boys the other boy is growing up very tall i am still small like a baby face the tension is there or not tension is there or not yes or no yes yes yeah so there are lot of tension because of that therefore hello you want to say something okay fine so therefore there are lot of students who are struggling lot of girls and boys at this age struggling i am not presentable i am not good looking so for my face was so shiny now i have got lot of pimples in my face i am not presentable some the opposite way again for some they feel no very good like how i was pointing out this boy when you know things this is what happening in me when i grow when i start to have mustache or when i start to have pimples i am growing to the adolescence i am preparing myself to the next stage of adulthood so now that i need to take care of myself i no more child ha huh? especially you know like here with the girls you you become more responsible more assisting to your mom yes or no same way here with the boys you become more responsible you become no like hero to your parents your parents when they look at you no like already my son is grown up he become responsible yeah even somebody comes and beat me my son is there to defend them yeah yes or no yeah so lot of confusions actually threatens your self esteem threatens your self esteem you should get back to me when you laugh no problem laugh and then after that you should get back to me hello not getting back to your back bench get back to me okay yes 
get back to me. Sometimes we need to be very serious. Especially this age is very, very crucial. Very crucial. If you lose yourself at this age, you cannot actually get back yourself after that. It's, big, it's going to be very challenging. That is why your school has arranged this class, this type of classes. Today there are a lot of children, though they have talents, they, though they have capacity, though they have all the in, uh, potential, but they have lost in their life due to the lack of the self-esteem. Somewhere you are lost. You don't feel that you are existing. You don't feel that you are worthy. Yeah? Okay. Another thing is media and images. In today's world, it's more influence. Another thing that actually uh, shakes our self-esteem is media and uh, images. Images. Yeah? You wanted to be very thin, very, you know, like very presentable, but you are growing so big. So therefore, I don't like my image. Yeah? With the girls particularly. You started to have your hormonals. Yes? Started to grow bigger. You don't like. You wanted the thinny image. Again with the boys. I wanted to be still a child, but my face is getting different. I am getting a man kind of face. Bigger face. Yeah? My face is with a hair. Lot of hair. Which I don't like. Yeah? And the image again, when I say, looking at others, I want also like her or like him. He is very smart, but I am not like that. This girl is very smart. As I said in the beginning, you compare yourself with the actress, an actor. Yeah, you think that you are somebody, you know, like, I want to like be like Vijay, but I am not. Or Rajinikanth, or Rajit, who, who, whatever. Yeah? You try to see somebody and you feel that I am not the one. Yes or no? Happening or not? Even with your own classmates. You see somebody with a fair complex and you see, I am not fair. She is very fair. Even though she is not in a very proper shape, irrespective of shape, we are attracted to the colors. Huh? The black one we may be, the darker one may be very pretty with a good beautiful eyes but what do you do in our culture we are so much crazy for colors because we need we like the white complex yes or no yes or no da? Huh? yeah we want somehow we want the fair complex so by all the creams apply but still not still not get the proper result so therefore, we are comparing with the other people that I wanted to become like him or like her. Yeah? The third one is family and friends. The demands of the family also actually influence on our self-esteem, particularly this age. You see some children are grooming themselves very well. You also see in your class. Some students carry out themselves very decently. Yeah? Very meticulously. Yes or no? Yeah? Very responsible. They become very responsible. So therefore, the parents try to compare. See, look at that boy. is excelling in his studies. He's very talented. So a lot of demands from the parents. Lot of demands from the parents. Look at the other boy. is getting a good marks. High marks. He is also good at singing. He is good at drawing. Or she is good at dancing. You are not. So there is also a lot of demands that again shakes your self-esteem and makes you think that I am not like them. I am not like them. Yes? Are you okay so far? Are you with me bold? Yes? Okay. There are two types of self-esteem is being divided into two categories. Self-esteem is being divided into two categories. One is high self-esteem. The other one is low self-esteem. What is high self-esteem? Anybody? Anybody want to answer? What is high self-esteem? 
thinking that we are beyond the level thinking that we are beyond the level anybody else good we value more ma'am okay we value more anybody else what is high self esteem and low self esteem what is high self esteem yes come on i'm having more responsibility ma'am we are having more burden and responsibility on us having more responsibility burden is high self esteem yes anybody else the last one yes yes for all your behaviors i'm going to put you into which, which category you belong next the coming sessions would tell you yeah why you behave this way yeah the meaning of your behavior you will get to know now in my next slides yeah okay high self esteem high self esteem is the person view themselves in positive light or confident and respect themselves did you listen what it is the person view themselves as what positive and confident unconfident not unconfident confident yeah feel confident and respect themselves who who person who is high self esteem if i have a high self esteem if my health self esteem is in good condition what i will do what i will do i will be very positive positive means what what is positive somebody say something you everybody laugh at him criticize him even the person feels that he says a right answer he will not able to say it what is that we put all negatives on that particular person who will put all negatives ha huh? person with low self esteem person with low self esteem what they will do they don't look anything positively even good things happens even though you have a good parents you think they are negatives even though you have a good friends you see i am in a with the bad friends everything for them see in a negative with a negative lens nothing is good good happening to my life even though you are sitting such a prestigious school amlavar po academic school you still say i did not go much what is that you don't see the positive of your institution so those people who are high self esteem with a good self self esteem will see everything positively somebody is coming in the car i come by bicycle therefore i am not my family is not to up to their level therefore i am not good for nothing what is that positive outlook negative everything you take it in a negative way in everything you see negative negativity who people with a low self esteem whereas people with a uh, high self esteem even in a negative even though it is a negative they try to look at the positive in that yeah if your teacher is very strict yeah punishing you so badly but still who a person with high self esteem what they will take even though my teacher is very strict it is because of that i am able to learn whereas person with a low self esteem how they will take i am not studying properly because my teacher is strict if she would have been friendly or he would have been friendly i would have studied well you always blame the ground you always blame the environment you don't see the positive in your environment if my parents are good if they don't fight if they don't fight i will be a good studious student it is because my parents are fighting every day i am not able to study you put the blame on the parents happening or not 
Are you doing it or not? Hello? Huh? Are you doing it or not? Yeah? So blaming the situations. If I would have got a... Uh, this is only tiles floor. Amlorpam has given me. If it is a marble floor, I would have studied well. Yeah? Yeah? Looking everything in a negative. Yeah? So people with a high self-esteem will see everything in a positive way. At least I have got. At least I am gifted with. Yes? Okay. Low self-esteem. The second category is low self-esteem is experience high levels of self-doubt. Experience high levels of self-doubt. What is that self-doubt? Any example? Without confidence? Without Any example? Example can you think of? Examples? Very good. Come on. Um, sometimes I think that the other person is performing better than me. What am I doing wrong? Exactly. Very good. Clap for him. So even though I say a correct answer, but still I think that I am not right. Self-doubt. I am not performing well. Even though you sing very well, but still what do you do? You go and ask somebody. Even uh, ten in your your teacher called you and said, your principal called you and said, but still you go and validate yourself. Hey, they all say that I, I sang well. Is it? Again you go to another person to validate. Because of what? Self-doubt. You cannot be able to accept. Who are those people? Who are those people? Low says self-esteem. Yeah? Yes. Experience high level of self-doubt and question their self-worth. Am I good? Am I good looking? With all your grooming, dressing up, but still you are not satisfied. What do you do? 101 times you go and stand in front of the mirror. Yes or no? Doubting your self-image. Yeah? Even though you perform yourself well in the class presentation, but still something is bothering. Did I? Did I pre present properly? Even your friends say, hey, you did a fantastic job, man. But still, what do you do? You don't believe. Hey, is it? Huh? Are you telling lie? Or you are just say, saying for my sake? All that question comes or not? Yes? Self-doubt. Self-doubt. You don't actually worth yourself. I can. I can kind of attitude is not there with whom? Now you just think about yourself. Don't look for, yeah, yeah, this person has this kind of character. Don't go like that. Huh? I, I don't know your names, but still, no? Somebody will sit here and think, all that is having, this fellow is having, whatever sister is saying, all that character this fellow is having. Don't think that way. Just put um, on yourself, who am I? Am I a high self-esteemed person or am I a low self-esteemed person? It also differs. It also differs. For some, when it com comes to academic, you feel high self-esteemed. When it comes to other performance, you become low self-esteemed. Yeah? Yes? But generally people with the low self-esteem, even though they get a higher mark, even the first rank, they don't worth it. What they will do? For example, if you have got, you uh, know, like, uh, what is your total mark in your 11th, 10th standard? Huh? No, no, what is the total mark? Highest, 500, right? Huh? You got 498. You got 498. S what they will do, these people who are with a low self-esteem? I missed two mark. Yeah? If I, I would, have, would have got that two mark, I would have been happy. Yeah? Higher, these people will think, people with a low self-esteem, even if you have got 500 out of 500, what they will say? I think the person who is corrected 
did not do it properly. They simply put 500 marks for me because I'm not worth for it. Yeah? It will go to that extent. You feel that you are not capable. You will not, you will feel that you are not worth. Yeah? So now that, give some time to check yourself. Hello? What is that? You are asking her? Huh? Such a, such a, no, like, serious, see, this kind of things, it's very, very important. Understood? Huh? This kind of, that is why there are a lot of girls, you know, Anita, years back, who committed suicide, who got very highest mark in our academics. Huh? You know or not, Anita who committed suicide with the highest mark. Yeah? Why? Huh? She got very high, high mark, highest mark. Yes or no, sir? Yeah? She got highest mark. She is the f class first. But she committed suicide. Why? Huh? Because she did not worth herself. She thinks that I am only worthy for this. She did not worth herself. Huh? The self-worth was very, very less. Huh? Do you, don't you think this will happen to you as well? Yes? Yes? Because of some stimulation in the environment. Any doubt so far? Any doubts? No, ma'am. If you understood fully, you don't get doubt. Or if you don't understand anything also, you won't get doubt. Which category you belong now? We are all aware, huh? Yes? Okay. Now we see some characters of high self-esteemed person. Come on, I want to hear from you first. What are the character of high self-esteemed person? Positive thinking. Very good. Confidence. Respect themselves. Very good. They have a braveness to courage to face everything in life. Very good. Fantastic. Hmm? They evaluate themselves. They will motivate themselves. Self-motivation. Yes. They don't look for others to motivate them. They motivate themselves. They are very content. Of what? Content of what? Very good. Superb. They are content of what they have. They are content of what they have. Yes or no? Yeah? Okay. So here are some uh, qualities I put people with high self-esteem. They be happy, first of all. They be Happy. Happy in the sense, not criticizing others and feeling happy. No. Genuine happiness. Genuine happiness. Yes? A uh, while ago, when one person is trying to answer, you had a lot of laughing. Is that uh, high self-esteemed uh, laughing or low self-esteemed laughing? Low self-esteem. When he was trying to say that, Men also attain puberty. There were a lot of kind of, no, like things, criticism was going on. You were giggling, laughing at him. And he did not feel like saying that answer. What is that? What is that? People with, you know now your uh, behavior, where you belong? Yes? You know now where you belong? Which category you belong? Yes? Okay. Believe in themselves. Believe in themselves. Not believing in your friends. Going for exam, believe in yourself. I can do. Or asking your friend, hey, did you study? Okay, okay, you studied. No, then we come on, we will write the exam well. Huh? Believing in oneself. The person who is having high self-esteem, believe in themselves. Yes? 
The third one is, are okay with themselves as a person. They feel content. Yeah? I am okay with the person I am. I don't grumble, I don't have long hair. Or I do not have long nose. Or sharp eyes or big eyes. Yes? I did not have a proper shape. Whatever it is my image. Whatever it is my talent. I don't bother, no, like he is a good singer, but I am not. But however, I am good at drawing, that's enough. Feeling content with oneself. With a person you are, you are feeling okay with the person you are. How much you feel? When I think about myself, this is the age. You have a lot of doubt with your image. Am I gooding, looking good? Am I presentable? Yes? Is there or not? Lot of confusion. Yes or no? Yes? So therefore, uh, if you have a high self-esteem, what do you need to do? You need to accept yourself as you are. With all your talents, with all your limits, with all your beauty, with all your skin color, the structure, texture, everything you need to be able to accept as a person you are. Yes? Okay. Or energetic and hopeful. Or energetic and uh, hopeful. When I say energetic, some are with a lot of energy I could see, no? Talking to the next person with a lot of energy. It is not high self-esteem. What is that? Because I am not content, therefore I distract the next person next to me. Yes or no? Yes, backbench? Yes? Because sister is very far from me, therefore I can behave as I want. Yes or no? Yeah? Okay, good. So, what they are trying to say? What they are trying to say? Energetic. Always with enthusiasm. Even if I get a low marks, you have in your mind, next time I am going to work hard and get good marks. The moment you get no, less mark, what happens? Finished. My whole life is gone. The next day onwards, you don't touch the books, don't talk to anybody. Yes? Walking around like a crazy bull. Yeah? Whereas people with a low high self-esteem, they walk with a lot of energy. They, they be with a lot of energy. This time my mark is gone. Next time I'm going to put a lot of effort and study well. Huh? So always they are with the energy. And this time I failed. Next time I'm going to be, you know, like the active, spend more time in study. This time I lost my game. Next time I'm going to take a lot of effort. Yeah? So these people with a high self-esteem, even though they are not able to perform well, themselves well, so they put a lot of energy and prove themselves. Yeah? Energetic. Energetic. Whereas people with a low self-esteem, they have energy, energy to criticize others. They also have energy. What they will do? They will have a energy to criticize others. Yeah? Okay. Or confident. People with high self-esteem are confident. I can do. I can make things to happen. Yes? Uh, they are very confident. Very confident. Like joining with others. Like to join with others. People with a high self-esteem always with the friends. Some people will gather as a friends. For what? For what? Not to do the protective, protective things. Whereas, you make a gang to uh, maybe criticize others, to go for outing, uh, not unprotective ways of behavior. People with high self-esteem gang themselves for the protective things. If you are ganging, there is a protective, protective work. 
So therefore, these people always have friends. But whereas people with a low self-esteem, they are allowed to be alone. They don't talk much to others. Even if you go and talk, how are you? They'll say, yes. Huh? You need to dig them. Huh? Because of what? Because of the low self-esteem. But you should not laugh at them. Maybe for some reason they become low self-esteem. Today that you are learning, what you have to do? You have to help your friend. Who will do that? Who will do that? Very good. People with high self-esteem, they will not laugh when somebody is very lonely, very sad, not talking. You will go and actually help them to talk. What happened? Who are that person? Because they have a high energy. Will you be able to do that? Are you going to act from low self-esteem or high self-esteem? Self yeah? So now as I am telling, just try to know, like, see in yourself what are the character I have. Do I belong more on the low self-esteem or do I belong more on the high self-esteem? Yes? Are happy with each success. People with high self-esteem are happy with the each success. Every time, even today, you know, somebody says that, hey, today your uh, uh, grooming is good. You look pretty today. They feel happy. Huh? Or today in your class test, test you got for the first time 10 out of 10. Yeah? Okay, 20 out of 20. You feel happy. Whereas people with a low self-esteem, what they will do? What if next test I will get low mark? Having the full mark in the hand, what your mind would think? What if the next test I don't take the same mark or score the same mark? What will happen? Will I able to score? Yes? Yeah? So these are the attitude of people with a low self-esteem. Whereas in each, you know, like every success, uh, maybe you are going back to the school, home from the school, your parents say, your mom say, hey, you, today you look fresh. What they will say? High self-esteem people, uh, is it? Whereas low self-esteem, they won't actually take it. They won't take it the, come on, each success, smaller success, they need to keep enjoying it. You need to keep it so that it keeps you with the full energy. Huh? That's why I see some of you are with a lot of energy. Yes? Even though it is already, you know, like almost one hour I've been talking. Yes? And some are already into sleep. Yes? Put your hands up, those who are sleeping. Mm, see? I ask those who are sleeping. You people are sleeping, huh? Ah, not, even, not even hearing what I am trying to say. Yes? Okay. Any doubt so far? I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish. Yes? Huh? No, ma'am. Because you have another class. Ah, see, look at that. Huh? Yes? You want a break, break, small break? Yes? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Is it too much for them? Is it too much? Not, not, not too much, no? Yeah. You want a break? I can't give. Maybe two minutes you can chat with your friends. Talk about self-esteem. Nothing else. You're not talking about a girlfriend, boyfriend. Yeah? And now let me listen to you. What, what actually you discussed and you liked so far? One or two? What have you discussed and what you liked so far? Come on. When you, when you do all these things, when you laugh, what is that? I my friend asked me, what do I do I think of myself? I said I'm a good boy, but slightly a bad boy in 
studying it's, it's not good and bad actually nowadays now you need to able to identify yourself where you belong now are you belong to high self esteem or you put yourself more on the low self esteem yes i think i am a self high self esteem person ma'am because i am thinking that i can speak to anyone i want and i can say what i want and i don't bother much about anyone what they say very good very good can make out because most of you all feeling shy to talk he is able to know like spell out that itself a sign that he is high self self esteem person yeah anybody else anybody come on girls girls boy do listen you need to respect others if you are a high self esteemed person you respect others when you are a high self esteemed person we were talking about how we value each other what she thinks about me and what i do think about her very good one more ma'am we are uh, learned in this sections to be how self esteem and whatever we have before we have should be change ourselves year after very good very good yeah i'm happy i'm happy that you are actually processing you are processing my session and also i feel worth of coming here and teaching you worth of coming here and teaching you yes yes and i am also so proud that such a long time you are no like uh, your concentration is good most of you all no like listening to me well yeah that is what i see of course sometimes no this is afternoon time some feel dozy yeah even if it is morning time still some feel dozy that is different thing yeah yeah okay yeah anybody else yes okay look for ways to succeed look for ways to succeed what is that a pe- person with high self esteem always look for ways to succeed how to succeed yeah if i am not able to perform myself academically well what are the ways i can maybe i can get up at 4 o'clock in the morning or i can go to my friend's house these are the ways they try to find different ways to excel themselves excel themselves yeah and those people who are you no know, like interested in dancing you dance once and people laugh at you immediately put your head down and say no more in my lifetime i am not going to dance at all whereas people with this high self esteem what they will do yes you will try maybe even close your doors yes your mother your mother may be wondering what is happening she is all the time closing the door and doing something inside or your uh father may worry yes uh ways to improve success how to succeed i am not able to present myself in front of others especially when i have a class presentation when i go on stand whatever i prepared is everything is gone i am very blank or when i go for exam i study very well when i sit with a paper and pencil or my pen i feel blank so how to succeed that so you will take find a way you will ask your friends how are you how you are able to do why can't me how do you help yourself i see you know like every time somebody ask question you are no so courageous to get up and answer why can't me what is helping you who will do all these things who will do all these things person with high self esteem you will find a way to succeed you will find a way to succeed always you will try to find a way how to succeed in my life how to grow in my talents how to grow in my academic performance or else if you are person with a low self esteem you don't you just freeze yourself you just freeze yourself you don't take any effort to succeed yeah are you taking some efforts or are you a person who freeze yourself immediately one failure come yeah english exam failed so no more i don't like a 
English subject. Maths, yeah, once I failed, I got very low mark, therefore I don't like the subject maths at all. So is that my attitude or am I finding my way? Am I finding my way? Am I asking my parents, see I am not able to find myself very good in maths, mathematics. Send me to my, to some tuition, uh, for tuitioning. Or let me go to my friend, hey today I will come to your home, just teach me. Huh? You won't think that what my friend will feel. Yeah? Who? People with high self-esteem, though they don't feel bad, even put themselves down for the success. For the success, the, even if it is putting themselves down, you won't feel bad. Anyway, I am going to get something. Yeah? The person who is, you no, know, like in my class, he is having, he is from a very so low socio-economic status. Very poor family. But he is studying very well. He is coming only in the bicycle, but he is excelling in his academic. But whereas I come in the car, how can I go and ask him? Because I belong to a, what? High status. He is a poor status. How I will know? People with high self-esteem, my success is my important. My success is my goal. Therefore, I bend myself. Therefore, I learn something from him. Yes? Okay. Don't worry about how others will judge them. These people who are with a high self-esteem, they will not worry how others will judge them. Any example can you think of? Boys, girls, which side is going, to, going for first? They won't think how others will judge me. People with a high self-esteem. Any example can you think of? Let me see who is going. This side or this side. Come on, come on, come on. Um, uh, for example, if uh, ma'am is telling to take some seminar or uh, topic about something, uh, I will take it at the spot, ma'am. I don't care what the, what other students are telling or mocking at me or laughing at me. I will take it as a positive thing and ask question to themselves and uh, tell them how uh, how it is like to teach the seminar and uh, something. Clap of Even now, even now, no like uh, is uh, no like uh, even is initiation to talk. Did everybody put your hand when I asked? Yes, no, right? What is that? Even now, what others think, but I'm going to answer. That is the attitude. That is the attitude. Huh? I can also give another girl exam. What's your name, ma? Anfal. The name. Oh my God, something spe peculiar. Okay. Huh? See, every time whether the answer is right or not, immediately she will come forward. Have you noticed her? May maybe people who are at the back may not. But every time I ask, she will just move from the chair. Whether what others think or not, what is that? Even, no, like, whereas what do you do? If I answer what people will laugh at me, others may criticize me. I may not be able to present properly. So people will giggle at me. So all that will run in your mind. Therefore, you will not be able to talk. Whereas people with high self-esteem, whether it is right or wrong, but I am going to try. I am going to try. There is another category, people. Too much of confident. What is that? Overconfident. Comes from where? High self-esteem or low self-esteem? Low self-esteem. Because if I don't talk, that is why you see even in your class, some boys or some girls always talk at the back. Talk at the back. Yes or no? You just criticize others. You mock at others. What is that? Is it initiation? Is it initiation? Because I feel insecure, what happens? Because I feel insecure, I, feel, I know that I am not content. I know that I am not capable. 
therefore i fool the other person also therefore i feel fool the so that i feel happy see i am fool i know i am fool i am also fooling the other person this is the attitude am i doing that are you doing or not mostly this age you will do that mostly because everybody have a shake in your heart and mind so therefore you are very happy think now you think before criticizing others that means you are insecure inside of you and see those students who are actually criticizing others making fun of others what it is what you are showing to others they are actually insecure that is why they are fooling you because deep inside i know that i am fool i want to make others also fool so that i feel there is i have a company happening or not you fool others because of you feel that you are a fool you feel insecure that is why you are fooling others now that help yourself to come out of your foolishness therefore you will respect yourself at the same time you will respect others as well yes yes or no the the boy next to darani the boy next to darani what do you want you are the one you are the one you ha huh? admira but ha huh? slept at least he is sleeping you are distracting sit down ha huh? see both are doing the same duty now he is sleeping you are distracting and finally both are not listening yes or no you are not benefiting from the class yes or no yeah okay so good so criticizing who are the people will criticize when i feel insecure in myself inside of me when i am agitated when i don't feel content of myself i always make others fool i criticize others i laugh at others even if it is mistake somebody will have a big laugh ha 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 like yes because i found another fool like me that is the message you are giving they are feeling comfort they are healing their inner wound i know a boy 6th standard i know 7th standard who came to me for counseling yeah who came to me for counseling he was talking lot of things uh, the teacher is particularly send this boy sister i'll send this boy to you for counseling and he was narrating lot of stories and he said you know sister i am a rowdy in my class i am a rowdy in my class if anybody does something i give one slap finish he is on the floor already i was threatened actually i was threatened i was just pushing my chair at the back yeah the way he was saying no with the expression even if if i give one finish he is all the all i am that strong you know i used to bring all these glass pieces yeah to the class to the school if anybody does anything i just give them so that strong i was really worried seventh standard boy talking as he was talking i found a scar in his wrist scar like burned scar i just asked him what it is and then at that so far the boy who was talking with a lot of energy he was trying to hide that and he's become no little low then i asked what happened he said my mom burnt me my mom burnt me why because i i am very mischievous at home the boy who said i am a rowdy i am the boss in the school now getting back to into different feature my parents used to beat me to the core my father used to beat me with a belt 
my mom used to burn me with the fire whenever i do mistake what is happening here to play at home i am treated ill treated therefore when i come to school i am i am having the fear the school also will treat me the same way therefore i take another you get my point i take a completely different picture because of the low self esteem because at home i am ill treated here i play a hero so what is that actually called insecurity insecurity low self esteem been acted out as a high self esteem that is called superiority complex that is called i don't know whether it is too much for you yeah inside of me i am different person when i come outside i walk a different person like this yes or no like a hero i act i know at home the struggles the pains all that i undergo but when i project myself to the world i completely project myself as a different person who person with the low self esteem okay come on so the effects of high self esteem when i am being a person with high self esteem i be successful happy fun to be around everybody will like you yeah they like your company have you seen some uh, students like that in your class yes they will be liked by everybody even by the teachers by your classmates everybody will like that person so everybody want that person company do your friends like your company or they will think when he will go away ha huh? yes ha huh? am i a person who is charming yeah keeping everybody happy yeah helping others to grow these are the people people will be welcomed by everybody are you tired no. hello no. yes god is good no. all the time god is good all the time good very good yeah what is that information okay 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 they become they also trustworthy people with a high self esteem trustworthy for some people you say it will be passed to 100 people you know she had this you know this fellow is doing this immediately you pass the matter whereas people with a high self esteem are trustworthy i can trust this person i can tell anything to her or anything to him yeah he is trustworthy yeah and they are full of life they are full of life once again those people with a low self esteem also are energetic but what is that they spread the negative energy whereas people with a high self esteem spread the positive energy you need to think that some people know very the naughty person in the class yeah the naughtiest is will be very high energy doesn't mean he is having low high self esteem what is that he is acting from is insecurity he is acting from his low self esteem so that kind of energy will have a negative effect whereas the person who have a high self esteem the energy they pass will have a positive positive ha huh? what positive effect will have a positive effect okay okay coming to low self esteem person are you clear any doubt so far ma'am so whenever somebody talks back uh, they are low self esteem but what if like they are our friends like when they are with us they are good but when we are not there 
will they even talk bad about us those who are so low low esteemed definitely people with a low self esteem whether you are there or not yeah still they will talk bad yeah because they feel inside of them i am not content therefore i create a kind of negative vibe so that i feel my negative and that negative is matches huh? whether in front of you at the back of you if they are talking negative things they are people with a low self esteem any any other doubts yes i am actually you know like explained already we will just uh, you know like uh, run through fast yes low self esteem i already explained when i explained high self esteem yes they don't believe in themselves less and have a less confidence who low self esteem they see themselves failing before they begin they feel that uh, they, they are the failure because before even they start Yes or no? If I ask you to answer something, what? If you think that my answer is correct, what you will do? What you will do? Come on, quickly. Exactly. You'll just say it, express it boldly. Whereas, getting up, you are not able to answer what it is. You already think that my answer is not correct. What is that? you think that you are a failure before even you sometimes when teacher ask question you know the correct answer but you are not able to say why you are not able to say why self doubt because you think that my answer is not correct yes or no yeah so person who is able to answer say the answer what is there what what they are actually projecting high self esteem there are some other category in the class every time they say negatives but they just wanted to push them up what is that what is that is it boldness what is that over confident what i said they just want to project exactly they just want to project many times you said the wrong things wrong answer 10 times you said the wrong answer you what you have to do next time you need to set back somewhere i am not saying the right thing maybe let me wait for others who will do this i self esteem or else if you have a low self esteem you just get up but you won't say the right answer every time teacher ask you question you will just get up every time they will come in front they are the person who come forward to answer but every time is the wrong what is that actually happening to them they just want to project themselves i know things but in reality it is not so is it healthy again where they are acting from where they are acting from ha huh? low self esteem insecurity again they are acting from the low self esteem yes okay they are afraid to show their creativity because they will be ridiculed ha huh? you may be a good dancer or a good singer or good performer good uh, no like a, a person who can able to present yourself well in the presentation all that you have but what do you think if i express people may laugh at me therefore i keep quiet i don't come forward so who people with a low self esteem whatever is happening they are not distracted at all even at home parents are fighting you are able to concentrate here on your studies even with the less facility at home less facilities at home you won't actually complain yeah you try to manage even without the lights that's why you see lot of science scientist 
yeah without light they studied and they become scientist so therefore people with a low self esteem are easily distracted and people with a high self esteem are i will not say they are not distracted at all but less distracted less distracted so vulnerable to peer pressure what is it if a friend is asking you come for smoke yeah what do you do immediately oblige if a friend is asking you come we will go for movie what do you do without informing the parents vulnerable to peer pressure people with a low self esteem you easily become what eased by your negative friends class is going on i try to distract so therefore the other person also will get distracted whereas person with high self esteem even the next person is a chatterbox distracting me no i am not going to listen to them they are able to concentrate even the person is pulling you no like for negative bad habits you will not gank yourself if you see no like all these people who are children who are no like anti social in your age they become no like addict to drugs addict to smoke addict to alcohol addict to what what else social media what else tobacco yeah all those what people with a low self esteem because they have a gank they have a gank so therefore you are vulnerable to peer pressure peer means what friends so when uh, uh, no like a person is calling hey come on without no telling informing our parents we'll go and watch nice movie has come what he will do if you are a person with content no it is not a good thing i'll inform my parent whereas a person with a low self esteem will be easily drawn by the influence easily drawn by the influence yes they complain and criticize every time i already told you people with a low self esteem every time they complain i am not i don't have this i don't have that yeah and also they criticize others i i criticize others yeah okay behave destructively behave destructively what is that behave destructively ha huh? distract if they are sitting in a classroom they distract the class yeah that is why you see lot of rowdies what they do what they do actually the rowdies distract destructive behavior destructive behavior another alikirudu ha alikirudu illaya that is what these rowdies are doing no social anti social behavior ha huh? they go and break things common goods they steal common goods who people with the low self esteem because i feel i am not worth in my academics in my talents therefore i get myself engaged in the negative attitudes i become rowdyism i do rowdyism do you do rowdyism in the school yes it happens sometimes when you know like criticize others gang yourself and criticizing bullying somebody do you also do bully yes or no what is that is it good attitude it's a destructive if you are bullying this boy every time what will happen to him even though he is very good what happens you know there are lot of things has been happened because of the bully person went and committed suicide because the other student bullied him this all the things happening what is this distracting when i have a low self esteem i bully others now that keep in your mind hello keep in your mind when you are bullying what is that you are acting out of your low self esteem yes yes or no yeah when you are spoiling others when you are criticizing 
when you are laughing at other person you are destroying the person's personality you are destroying the person's happiness especially you know like boys will do bullying mostly then the compared to the girls yeah so therefore especially at this age so respect others when you are a person with a high self esteem respect others that is why i see many of you are distracted when i speak lot of student who listen to me but where are some, there are some people who are distracting what is that you are distracted inside that is why you are distracting outside that is the actually the meaning you are not peace at inside therefore you are distracting the environment where you are sitting not only boys girls also are doing that that means inside of you you are not at peace you are distracted inside due to some reason so therefore this is a crucial age crucial age it's important you need to carry yourself it is important that you need to carry your life properly and you need to be responsible also the person next to you your own classmates they may have low self esteem don't laugh at them they are low self esteem because of some reason just help them don't laugh at them you be a person in their life i was like this it is because of my classmate who helped me to come up in my life you should get that name your fellow student should not say my life is gone because of this friends you need to be a protective friends so you need to have a high self esteem for that you need to have a high self esteem just to summarize what i said is we need to grow in high self esteem yeah so what you have to do to grow in high self esteem is try to increase your self esteem celebrate your success every time you get good marks or good appreciation huh? celebrate yourself feel happy okay i am able to do i am able to succeed so appreciate yourself don't look for your teacher don't look for your parents to appreciate you rather appreciate yourself first admire yourself don't look for others to uh, Uh, say that you are a beautiful say to yourself when you are standing in front of the mirror say i am good looking whereas what happens this age you always look for the boys to validate you the boys will try to get the validation from you that is why the attraction infatuation all those things takes place because we allow ourselves to value me you allow others to value you don't value yourself so now that you need to appreciate yourself you need to ab- admire yourself don't look for others don't look for others to appreciate you and admire you yes okay don't expect perfection to grow in your self esteem don't look for perfection i need to be completely get 100 out of 100 no even getting 50 feel good okay next time i'm going to get 60 yeah i am not a good dancer like prabhu deva or michael jackson don't expect be content of what you are able even you are drawing everything you feel content with what you have so that is actually helps to grow in the self esteem forgive yourself for your mistakes i born in the poor family therefore i am like this i born for the parents who are quarreling so therefore i am like no don't think in that way forgive that forgive the past i am been a poor student i really want to give the example of dharani he was distracting so so many times that is why i called his name after that he is behaving himself well that is what forgiving the past that is a good example i can give in this time itself he has been distracting so much 
Now once I actually called his attention, he's very quiet now. Forgiving the past. I'm being like this. I'm being you know, like very naughty, misbehaved boy or misbehaved girl. I'm going to forgive that. Now I'm going to renew myself. I'm going to behave, you know, bring myself as a new person to the school, to my home, to the society. So take the conviction in yourself. Yeah? Okay. Stop putting yourself down. Don't put yourself down. Comparing yourself with others. I'm not good like them. I'm not good at, like others. Don't compare. Don't put yourself down. Okay, I'm not good at academics, but I'm good at dancing. People are excelling or not? Being a dancer. Being a... Having extracurricular activities. Yeah? Don't put yourself down. And don't compare yourself with others. List down all your ac accomplishments. All your... Every day what you do, just note down. Today I got this appreciation from the teacher. Or today I read to these lessons. So every day you need to see your accomplish accomplishments. What I ac accomplished? Maybe today you have listened no, almost no, like two hours now. Today I just got a lot of inputs. So I am going to carry myself. So I accomplished something. I am going to try it in my life. Yeah? Listen to the positive, ignore the negatives. Listen to the positives. Ignore the negatives. If the person, if somebody says, criticize you, don't look like good. You are dark skin. Or you are so thin. You are skinny. Or you are so chubby. Take only the positive inputs. Ignore the negatives. Yeah? Whereas we are used, we will leave all the positives, we only concentrate on the negatives. Yes or no? If somebody says, no, like teacher says, you are good at this, that, this, then, all that, only one correction teacher gave, you will get, stick to that correction. Finished. Whole life is gone with that. Because the teacher said this. So far she has been appreciating me. I don't know what happened to teacher. Today she put me down. So, Take the positives. Ignore the negatives. Accept compliments and give compliments. What is that? Somebody is appreciating you. Accept it. Same time, learn to appreciate others. Learn to appreciate others. Yes? Will you do that? Yes? I'm not getting huh, the sound. Yeah? Change your story. The final is change your story. Yes? What is your name? Bhavanastri. So far I am like this. Bhavanastri has a story. Now I am going to change my story. Maybe I am the person who has been you know, like found by the teachers. Very naughty. Very misbehaving. But now I am going to change my story. From today onwards. I am going to change my story. As a different person, I'm going to behave. I'm going to appreciate others. I'm going to accept others. Yes? So this is how you can actually boost your self-esteem. Yes? Okay. I think I'm almost come to the end of the session. Yes, any doubts? Any doubts? Any clarification? When others ask question, please pay your attention. Ma'am, how to change from a low esteem person to a high esteem person? No? Yeah, that's what I said right now, right? So far I was talking about that, right? What are the things you can do? Take a note of your accomplishment. What else? What else? Reject negatives and... Uh, Take the positives. Very good. What else? Yeah. Take compliment and give compliment. Love yourself. Don't look for perfection. 
because everybody is human human being tend to be not every time be, be, be in a high yes so be content with what you have that is what they are trying to say yeah don't look for perfection i should be 100 out of 100 or i i should be always success in my games or always success in my performance yes what else yeah we should not wait for the others appreciation rather you need to appreciate yourself that is something very very important because we tend to expect the appreciation from others always only then we feel good but what they are saying is appreciate yourself appreciate yourself for what all today you maybe go back take your note and what are the things you appreciate yourself in you yes uh, how can we expect a person to be high, highly esteemed person all throughout his life and even a person who has a lot of confidence and who is happy always, project him to be happy always, talks about others and he may not be trustworthy or she may not be trustworthy. What is what? So now you need to change that attitude. Yeah, that is not constant. We cannot mark them. It can change. You can change. Doesn't mean now that you listen. What is low self-esteem? What is high self-esteem? Some you put yourself into low self-esteem. Maybe you think mostly I think all my character belong to low self-esteem. Doesn't mean it cannot be changed. It can be changed. Provided, provided you need to take effort. Yes, you need to take effort. Don't forget that you are you. There is always a bad side and a good side for you. So, always try to remember that though there is negative sides and positive sides for you, you can always stand up nor you can choose to sit up. So, if you want to stand up, stand up. If you want to sit, sit. That's all. Thank you. Ma'am, we discussed about who are low self-esteem and who are high self-esteem and you even told us how to become a high self-esteem person but we didn't discuss about what makes a person low self-esteem and what makes a person high self-esteem. Okay, so uh, I actually you know a like very good question but I uh, know like because of the time it's another big topic actually what makes a person low self-esteem what makes a person high self-esteem? Very good question she asked. But just I, just I say, you uh, know, like a uh, thing. Because she asked that. Low self-esteem. Who will become low self-esteem? The person who is criticized at home. When you are small. When parents say you are good for nothing. Will you think that person will become high self-esteem when they grow? If mother says or parent says you are good for nothing. You are an ugly person. Or your teacher puts you down always. Do you think that you will become high self-esteemed? So this is how the parents, your home, your environment actually sometimes contributes to your high self-esteem as well as low self-esteem. But now that you are grown into adolescence, you are marching forward towards your adulthood. Now you know what is good and bad. Now that you know what you are capable of, you don't anymore depend on the parents or teachers completely to value yourself. So now take a lead. Take a lead even the childhood experience are bad. There is a boy who is limping his leg. Everybody said, How, what they will command actually, people who are limping? Yes? What they command? Ah, Nandi, yeah. So, will that boy will grow in high self-esteem? Yes, even though he is highly intellectual, because people put me down as Nandi. So, this person will. Now, this person, when they grow to your age now, now you are capable of how, even though I am no limping my legs, but I am sharp in my mind. So have you seen some people succeeded with their, uh, all their uh, physical deformities? Yes? 
how it is they try to boost their self esteem same time when you get lot of appreciation lot of acknowledgement lot of recognition in your childhood from the parents from the teachers these are the children will grow in the high self esteem you may ask me now question i had a very bad childhood my parents doesn't like me or they criticized me they did not accept me therefore i developed all this character now you become parent to yourself now that you are grown to the age to carry yourself yes or no you are not small child 6 years old 5 years who is not able to uh, help themself now you are all matured enough right so now you have to tap where you need to grow you need to tap yourself where you need to grow don't expect for your teachers don't expect for your friends or parents tap yourself tap yourself to grow you get my point yes to make effort make effort don't put yourself down because it has been happened some children will misbehave too much because why i said already it is because they are not recognized they are not looked after by the parents in the childhood therefore this child become very misbehaving adhd hyper active you see some children when they are 3 years 4 years old even in your uh, home you will see your siblings when they are 3 years 4 years old they become very misbehaving they will jump they come down even they get beatings again they will do the same thing why to get the attention of parents you start doing that even up to your age of 13 14 16 some would do even in their 30s 40s seeking attention do some mischiefs so that you get some attention keep talking in the class so that teacher will call out your name some boys will do some girls would do that yes or no even so many times you call out their names they keep doing the same thing because they try to seek attention by doing misbehaving misbehaviors yeah that means what you are still treating yourself as 5 years boy 6 years boy 4 years girl to get the attention of the no no now that you have grown up i need to behave myself to my age to my age yes i think it's too much for you now if i talk more yes okay good uh no like uh, hope that you got something today yes or no did you get something today yeah, yeah? so take whatever you have you no know, even though you did not get my whole class the whole session but please be serious because this is the age is very very important this is the age is going to actually measure your future measure your future i'm not threatening you but take more responsible on this stage because there are a lot of expectation from your parents yes yes or no do your parents have expectations on you there are a lot of expectation because they deserve it because they are bringing you up with a lot of pain any parents who bring you up without pain everybody has a pain so you need to be responsible for their pain and you more than that you need to be res- responsible for yourself because you need to come up in your future as a good person so you need to take a responsibility of yourself and the society is expecting lot from you yes your school is expecting lot from you and your inner self is expecting lot from you imagine if you lose yourself will you able to walk with a pride in the society tomorrow if you lose yourself if you get yourself addicted into to the bad things will you able to walk with a high self esteem tomorrow in the society so therefore you are responsible for yourself as well 
So therefore, wish you all the very best. Yeah? So I am so glad to meet you all today. So study well. Uh, I also thank the school and the principal for this opportunity. And I am also so grateful to the teachers. So though it's a session for you all. And I could see the interest and the patience. They were sitting with you. Yeah? Wish you very all the best. Good afternoon one and all. I take immense pleasure to stand here and deliver the vote of thanks. Firstly, my heartfelt gratitude to Reverend Sister Violet for motivating us with your inspiring message. Thank you, ma'am. You have talked about self-esteem, but uh, so you told about self-esteem and the types of self-esteem, ma'am. We'll follow that and we will be the high, high self-esteem person in my life. I owe my sincere thanks to our respectful principal, our headmistress, for encouraging and supporting us in all walks of our life. Also, this, also for this wonderful session. I also extend my gratitude to my beloved teachers who have always been our supporting pillars and our backbones. Last but not least, I thank my seniors and all fellow students for having patiently listened to this session and maintained a good discipline. Thank you one and all.